hey guys welcome back so today i just wanted to give you guys like a quick little video um just kind of more so like a watch me work instead of tutorials or anything there is a little tutorial with some cat eye polish that i have but yeah i just wanted to show you guys the process of nails and just you know have a video for you guys so for the base i used the ballerina gown and i did two coats of that and then i put the blush pink over that with just one coat and um, just because i feel like the blush pink is really see-through and i didn't want them super see-through but at the same time the ballerina gown is more of like a really light pink and i wanted it to be more of like a natural pink so yeah if you have those two colors you should definitely layer them it comes out so pretty and then when you put it like on your hands it's such a pretty color such a pretty color um but yeah so i'm just gonna go in with a v-tip and then i will be back when it comes to the cat eye Okay, so this is the cat eye that I use. Um, it's honestly, it's not like a color. It's just like a silver and it can go over any base, like any color. It just, that's the effect that it gives. It's super, super pretty. And I just got this off Amazon. So I will definitely link it below as long as I can find it. Um, I've had it for a, a really long time now, but I always forget about it for some reason. So yeah, I'm just gonna put it over the two nails that I want to give that effect to. And then same with the little uh, magnet that I have. I believe I just ordered that from Amazon as well. Uh, if I can find that or similar, I'll definitely link it. And cat eye is just so fun. Like you can just play with it. You'll notice that in this video, like I played with it like a lot because I don't really do cat eye that much so I like I, I wanted it to look a certain way and it just was not working for me at first um, but yeah you guys will see.
and really quick yes if you guys are wondering i am still pregnant i am actually 38 weeks today it is monday january 23rd and this video is actually going to be going up tomorrow tuesday because i am now uploading every tuesday and friday but yeah as of now monday january 23rd i am 38 weeks pregnant <sighs> i'm still here um it's been a lot it's been a long pregnancy but overall it has been amazing and healthy and that's all i prayed for in this pregnancy um because my last pregnancy was an emergency c-section i have twins like it, it was a lot so yeah if you guys are wondering i'm still here still pregnant all of that good stuff but all we want is a healthy baby so yeah So now that I'm finally happy with the design, I'm going to go ahead and cure it. And then I actually want to do something a little bit different and do two layers of the cat eye. So now that it's cured, that little like cat eye piece, whatever, it's not going to go anywhere. So I'm going to put another like super thin layer of the cat eye and then kind of give it like a double like a layered effect i don't know i just wanted to play with it because i don't you know, like i said i don't do cat eye that often but i'm trying to you know get out of my comfort zone do a little more do different stuff and then especially get it on camera and record it because i do go back to my videos sometimes because i forget how i did some stuff or i forget like what base I used or something but that is why another reason why I'm recording because a lot of people ask what base did I use and it's like very unintentional like that I don't answer it's just I don't remember so that's why I always say like I'm recording I have the video go ahead and check it out see the um, whatever colors I use I always link everything it's not that I'm you know trying to hide anything at all but I just I forget because I'm always playing with different colors and just I don't know everything <laughs> So these were just like a little freestyle. This wasn't ordered or anything. I just wanted to play with some sets, which I've been doing for the remainder of my pregnancy because I don't want to take any orders right now. Just, I don't want to have people waiting. It really is not fun to be waiting for nails for super long. So with making the ready to ship sets, I can have those shipped out within a day or two. And then if I do go into labor, I mean, I'm praying that I'm not in the hospital that long, but I'll still be able to ship them again, like, you know, within a few days. So yeah, so I'm just playing with it. I had those hearts. Um, I actually have them on my site. If you are interested in purchasing them, um, I have a few more left and they're just super pretty and they're perfect for Valentine's Day. And then I have been really wanting to use the pink opal rhinestones. So I decided to just kind of make a fun little, you know, accent nail and it came out so pretty. Like I, I love opal. Oh, it's just so pretty. And those as well, I will link down below. I got them from Glitz and Glam and they have so many pretty rhinestones like so many and they came assorted like that so I really personally like that because I like to play with like all the different sizes of rhinestones but yeah if um you go to glitz and glam they have an instagram they have their site they have so many pretty rhinestones and like charms and all kinds of stuff
Okay, so now that everything is cured and the glue is dry, I'm just gonna be wiping the French tips really quick because for whatever reason, the Medusa pot gel um, that I use for the white, it, it bleeds a little bit when you put the top coat on, which is not a big deal at all because it only takes me one layer and it's the best pot gel I've ever used for a French. Um, but I just like to wipe it with ac or not acetone, um, alcohol wipes just to get off that like, I think it's just the inhibition layer because it's so sticky. So I just take that off and then I'll go ahead and put the top coat on and then I will show you guys what they look like all boxed. But that is it for this video. Um, these turned out so cute and so fun and I've recently been having a lot of questions about like the extra short sets and the short sets so I thought I'd make a couple and these are like the perfect manicure um, length like perfect they're so cute but yeah so if you want to see how I box them what they look like in the box just keep watching and other than that I will be back Friday with another video thanks guys bye Oh, and really quick, I totally forgot about this part, but I'm just going in with the little detail brush and I'm gonna go ahead and seal in that heart best I can with top coat and make sure there's no like glue or anything that is out. And then, yeah, I just wanted to seal it in really quick, but that is it. This is the set and this is how they looked boxed. I'm obsessed, they're so cute and so short. I just love them. But yeah, if you guys have not subscribed yet, please consider doing so and I will see you guys on Friday.